Good day engineers Para sa video natin ngayon Ang i-discuss natin is Sample problem for uh, The lateral uh, lateral earth distrib uh, distribution Of raised cuts So simulan natin By reading the problem So sabi dito A trench is excavated on a dense sand Which was supported by sheet pile Walls, struts, and whales The sand has the following properties. So, ang gaman ng sand is 16.5 kN per cubic meter. An angle of internal friction of 20 degrees. So, you have to determine first the strut loads. So, kung ang struts is placed horizontally at this is, uh, distances S is equal to 4 meters. Center to center. The maximum moment for determining the pile wall section and the maximum bending moments for determining the section of the wheels. So, we'll start with the figure. So, ito yung figure niya. So, syempre meron tayo dyang uh, trench. So, yung trench kasi uh, at times yun yung lagay ng cables natin sa... Uh, sa mga electrical facilities so sa ilalim ng lupa doon tayo naglalagay ng cable trays and runways or cable runways so yan yung, uh, yan yung gamit kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng trenches so as you can see yung trench natin is meron kang width na 4 meters then meron kang uh, struts A B and C Then Strut spacings Vertically Or The struts are spaced vertically So from the top CA That is 1.2 meters CB uh, A distance from A uh, Strut A That is 2 meters CC A distance of 2 meters From Strut B And C has a distance of 1.2 meters from the bottom of the trench. Then, sabi sa problem, space yung uh, struts natin at 4 meters center to center. So, ibig sabihin, titignan natin siya on the top view. So, this is the top view ng ating trench. So, Yung struts natin doon is space at 4 meters. So, to begin with the problem, syempre, since this is a sand, uh, ang hahanapin muna natin is yung pressure, uh, pressure niya and to determine the pressure diagram. So, automatically, ang pressure diagram naman yan since sand yan is the one shown here. So, ito siya. Kasi, that is a sand. So, uniformly distributed all throughout uh, the sheet pile. Then, ang kailangan natin is yung pressure niya. So, the pressure will be based on the principle of cuts in sand. So, P sub A is equal to the 65% or 0.65 ng Gamma H K A So first we have to get the value of the active earth pressure coefficient So the active earth pressure coefficient will just be equivalent to 1 minus sine of phi Over 1 plus sine of phi And from the given problem We have an angle of internal friction of 20 degrees so, that will be 1 minus sine of 20 over 1 plus sine of 20. So, our active earth coefficient will be equivalent to a value of 0 0.4903. So, yan ngayon yung ating active earth coefficient. Now we can proceed in determining our pressure. So that will be P sub A is equal to 
0.65 times yung given natin na gamma which is 16.5 times the total height ng ating soil layer na kailangan i-protect. So, to determine that one first, kailangan natin si H which is equivalent to a value dalawang 1.2 plus dalawang 2. So, that will be a value equivalent to 32 over 5 meters. So, this should be multiplied now to 32 over 5 times the active earth coefficient which is 0 0.4903. So, calculating this one, we will have an, an active pressure equivalent to a value 33.6542 That is in kilopascals So yan ngayon yung ating pressure So now, pwede natin ilagay yan dun sa diagram natin So, ito yung diagram natin syempre And as you can see we can take the struts as an reaction A reaction B for strut B and reaction C for strut C syempre strut B is at the middle of the sheet pile so pwede natin kunin na yung part na yun is a hinge part so lahat ng nasa gitna na struts will be considered a hinge part no uh, sheet pile <coughs> so since this is uh, internal hinge so this is now a statically determinate structure so pwede natin paghiwalayin yung diagram ng nasa taas and yung diagram na nasa baba so to do that syempre we can have this one. <coughs> so, let's take this one. Yung, ito yung upper part. So, we take this one as diagram number one. And we take this part. Siya yung lower part. That is diagram number two. So, as you can see, symmetrical naman silang dalawa. So, ibig sabihin, uh, yung reactions nila will be the same. So, let's prove that one. So, to get the reactions at A, reactions at B, and reactions at C. So, baba lang natin to. So, we will have to use the principle from statics. So, that will be Doon muna tayo sa diagram 1. So, ang una natin kukunin is doon tayo sa summation ng moment. So, this is, we know this is point A and this is point B. So, positive counter, uh, positive clockwise rather. So, that is the summation of moment at point B is equal to 0. So, syempre, RA will cause a clockwise rotation at point B. So, that will be positive. So, that is 2 RA. Next, dun tayo kay 33.6542. So, as you can see, downward yung load nya. So, ibig sabihin, it will cause a value or a moment counterclockwise. So, that is negative. Then, syempre, kailangan natin siyang gawing point load. So, that will be 33.6542 times 16 over 5. So, point load na siya. Then, syempre, kung maging point load na yan, so, pupunta siya dun sa gitna. So, that will be the point load. So, ngayon, ang distance ng point load para maging moment siya, papunta dito, will be a value 16 over 5 
divided by 2 kasi 2 plus 1.2 is 3.2 which is the 16 over 5 eh kalahati nga papunta dito so that is 16 over 5 divided by 2 so that will be 16 ito natin yung kulay so that will be 16 over 5 divided by 2 so ito yung multiply natin dito so that will be equivalent to 0 kasi wala na naman ng ibang load na kailangan natin gamitin so calculating this one so ito itatranspose lang natin papunta rito then magiging positive yun then divided by 2 our RA will just be equivalent to a value 86.1548 kilonewton per meter yun na ngayon yung reaction natin at point A next we would like to get the reactions or reaction B1 B sub 1 kasi dalawa yan since pinaghiwalay natin yung point B syempre may isa ka pang reaction dito which is RB2 at ipag add natin yan mamaya para makuha natin yung total reaction at point B so balik ulit tayo sa diagram 1 so syempre pwede naman natin gamitin yung summation ng forces vertical where upward is positive so upward positive summation of forces vertical is equal to 0 so that will be a value <coughs> RA plus RB sub 1 so positive kasi sila parehas upward yung assumption natin so kung mali lang yung assumption natin magbabago lang naman yung sign and magbabago yung direction then downward yung uniformly distributed load so that is negative so minus 33.6542 times yung length which is 16 over 5 so that will be equal to 0 ito itatranspose natin papunta doon ito yung RA transpose papunta doon so kunin na din natin yung mga values nyan so RB1 yung kailangan natin dito which is equivalent to ito magiging positive so multiply natin yung 33.6542 sa 16 over 5 it will give us a value 107.6934 Minus yung value nung RA natin or yung magnitude ng R sub A which is 86.1548. Our RB1 will now be equivalent to a value 21.5386. That is in kilonewton per meter. Kilo newton per meter kasi per meter strip, uh, per meter strip analysis pa lang to. And remember, ang unit ng pressure natin is in kilopascal and not in kilo newton per meter. So, ibig sabihin, meron pa tayong per meter strip analysis dito. So, that is RB1. Now, next, proceed tayo dun sa second diagram which is ito. Ipoprove lang natin na since symmetrical to, this will have the same reaction so <coughs> let's take this as point B and this will be point C so let's get the summation of moment at point C so positive clockwise summation of moment at point C that will be equivalent to 0 syempre si RB2 magkakos siya ng clockwise moment so that is positive tapos ang distance niya is 2 meters so that will be 2RB2 Then Yung load sa ibabaw is 33.6542 downward So that is negative Kasi Nandito banda yung I think nandito banda yung Pinyan And this will be the moment arm Which is X 
So that will be a counterclockwise moment. So negative siya. So that is 33.6542 Tapos times Siyempre 16 over 5 din yan Pero ang moment arm niyan is hindi na 16 over 5 divided by 2 Siyempre Alam natin that this is Ito yung 16 over 5 divided by 2 Or 16 over 10 Kasi yun yung gitna eh and this one is also 16 over 10. So, syempre, para makuha natin yung value ng x, so, kailangan natin, that will be 2 minus 16 over 10. So, that will be, ang moment arm niya is 2. Kasi 2 to eh. This is 2 meters. Ayan. So, ibawas lang natin yung 16 over 10 sa kanya. So, minus 16 over 10. Yan na ngayon yung moment arm niya. Then, wala nang ibang load. So, that will be equivalent to 0. Calculating this one. So, syempre, ito, transfer natin dito. And, syempre, that is, divi uh, that is divide both sides by 2. We can have a value of RB sub 2 equivalent to 21.5386 That is in kilonewton per meter As you can see, pare sila ng value ni RB1 Then, tuloy natin Gamitin naman natin yung summation ng forces vertical Where positive is uh, uh, upward So that is summation of forces vertical is equal to 0 So that will be RB2 Plus RC so, minus, syempre yung downward na load. So, that is 33.6542 times 16 over 5. That is equal to 0. So, now that is, ang record natin dito si RC. So, syempre, etos, lipat natin dito, magiging positive yan at yung RB2 natin magiging negative, substitute lang natin yung value. So, yung 33.6542 times 16 over 5 is a positive 107.6934 I-minus ngayon natin yung value ni RB2 which is 21.5386 So, RRC will be equivalent to a value 86 point 1548 so since symmetrical yan as you can see equals si RA kay RC equals si RB sub 1 kay RB sub 2 so hindi pa tayo tapos kasi wala pa tayong reaction total reaction at point B so, our total reaction at point B, so RB, will be equivalent to RB1 plus RB2. So, RRB will just be equivalent to 2 times 21.5386. So, our reaction at point B will be equivalent to 43.5386. 0772 that is in kilonewton per meter ngayon ang tanong kasi sa atin is strut loads so ibig sabihin pag strut loads yung tanong kailangan ngayon natin yung mismong load in kilonewton so strut loads yung tanong ayan so kailangan natin yung mismong load in kilonewton Mi, uh, kilonewton lang, hindi siya in kilonewton per meter. So, magagawa lang natin yun pag minultiply natin yung spacing. Kasi para yung sa slab na distribution ng load, ang kinukuhang load ng isang strut is yung pahaba sa kanya. Or eto. So, ibig sabihin, ito times lang natin yun ng center to center spacing. So, that will be so, doon lang tayo sa part ng strut loads. So, for our strut loads, ito siya.
sa strat A that will be equivalent to a value of so 86.1548 so 86.1548 so times natin sa spacing na 4 so this value is equivalent to 344.6192 so this is in kilonewtons then strat b is equal to 43.0772 times 4 so that will be equivalent to 172.3088 so that is in kilonewtons then strat C will be equivalent to a value 86.1548 times 4 so syempre same lang yan as strat A so that will be equivalent to 344.6192 kilonewtons so ito na ngayon yung required sa atin na stock loads and let's make it okay. so yan na ngayon yung strat loads natin <coughs> next to determine is yung the maximum moment for determining the pile wall section so since pile yung kailangan natin which is uh, itong part na to sheet pile so itong sheet pile na to ito yung nakatayo na yan so since yan yung kailangan natin kailangan ngayon natin ng shear and moment diagram so as you can see kasi ito yung pinapatungan nya so, to determine the shear and moment diagram, pwede kasi siyang equation or yung area method ng shear and moment diagram. So, let's use, for this example, let's use the area method. So, for sheet pile, So, dun tayo sa shear muna. So, shear. So, this is for shear. So, syempre, meron tayong shear at point A. So, dalaway magiging shear natin at point A. Kasi ang possibility nyan, bababa yung, low, uh, bababa yung shear diagram dito due to the uniformly distributed load tapos aangat ulit siya so magko-cross siya dun sa zero shear tapos saka ulit siya bababa papunta dito at aangat ulit so meron tayong dalawang shear at point A just before the load or just before the concentrated load and a shear at point A just after the concentrated load or just after the reaction so ito yung A so, just before reaction, so that will be B sub A1 or shear A1 which is equivalent to, syempre that is negative kasi downward, negative 33.6542 times 1.2 which is yung length ng ating span before or just before the reaction so that will be a value equivalent to negative 40.385 as you can see dun sa drawing natin ng shear and moment diagram so ito na siya. next let's get the value of shear at point A so this is just after reaction so this will be VA which is 2 then that is so sama natin yung VA1 that is negative 40.385 tapos patatamaan siya ng load upward na reaction A e ang reaction A natin 
from the given is yung 86.1548. So, that is plus. So, that is plus 86.1548. So, that will be plus 86.1548. So, that will be a value now equivalent to 45.7698. So, ito ngayon yung shear at A just after the reaction. Now, let's proceed at point B. So, at point B, syempre dalawa din yan. So, isang just, af uh, just before and isang just after the reaction. So, that will be, this is just before. So, it will be B, B sub B1 is equal to, so, syempre, kung ano yung previous reaction, which is 45. So, 45.7698. So, papatamaan natin siya ng downward na distributed. So, minus 33.6542 times 1.2 or times 2 lang. That is times 2. Kasi 2 meters yung span nun. So, that will be equivalent to a value negative 21.5386. That is in kilonewton per meter. Now, at point B, just after the reaction so that will be B B sub 2 is equal to negative 21.5386 plus yung reaction sa B sub 1 or RB sub 1 which is also 21.5386 so our share for this one just after the reaction load is applied so that will be zero so naisara natin yung shear moment or yung shear diagram which is ito then dun sa diagram number 2 magbabaliktad lang naman siya or imi-mirror lang natin which is ito <coughs> so yan ngayon yung ating shear diagram for uh, this problem. Siyempre, hindi shear yung kailangan natin. Ang kailangan natin is yung moment part. So, para makuha natin yung moment, kailangan natin kunin yung area ng shear diagram. So, this is 1, this is 2, and this will be 3. So, proceed muna tayo kasi ang kailangan natin dito yung points with maximum or yung points with zero shear kasi nandun yung maximum moments so ang kailangan nating points is si point A kasi nag crush siya ng shear dito or nag crush siya sa zero shear dito and etong point na to na nag cross ng zero shear pero kailangan natin hanapin yung distance x so dun muna tayo sa part ng from 1.2 or from 0 to 1.2 So, ang moment natin doon is just the area of the shear diagram. So, ang shear diagram natin is on the negative side. So, ibig sabihin, negative yung moment natin. So, that is a triangle. So, negative 1 half times yung height ng triangle which is 40.385 times yung width ng triangle or yung base ng triangle is 1.2. So, that will be a value equivalent to negative 24.231 kilonewton meter per meter. As you can see, yung value kasi natin na 40, that is in kilonewton per meter. Then, this one is in meter. So, that is kilonewton meter per meter strip. So, ibig sabihin, moment per meter strip naman to. Now, let's proceed dun sa part ng 2 meters na span or from 1.2 to 3.2 meters. 
So, for 1.2 to 3.2 meters. So, that will be uh, kailangan muna natin dito malaman yung value ng x. So, we can determine the value of x by having a ratio and proportion or by using similar triangles. So, ito at itong triangle na to. So, we just have so that is 45.7698 divided by the value x. So, equivalent yan sa triangle na may height na 21.5386 and a base equivalent to syempre kung x yan, this is 2 minus x. Kasi 2 meters yung buong span niya. So, that will be 2 minus x. Then, using the shift solve for uh, from our calculator or by simplifying this equation, we could get a value of x which is 1.36 and we have a value of 2 minus x which is 0 0.64 so now we can get the values of our moment so dun muna tayo sa 1.2 so this is for 1.2 2 that is 2.56 kapag ini-add natin yung 1.36 na x so ito yan so, that is a span 1.2 to 2.56 or a mark 1.2 to 2.56 meters. So, now for our moment, we can have So, kunin natin yung, uh, yung value ng moment kanina which is negative 24. So, that will be negative 24.231 plus Siyempre, positive na yung triangle natin. So, area ng triangle which is 1 half times 45.7698 times 1.36 kasi that is the value of x. So, our moment for the mark 1.2 meters to 2.56 meters will be equivalent to 6.8925. So, this is in kilonewton meter per meter strip or per length of the strip. Now, let's get the value for the mark 3 for 2.56 meters to 3.2 meter mark. So, ito yon yung may maliit na triangle. So, syempre kakailanganin natin yung previous moment. So, moment is equal to 6.8925 minus, syempre kailangan natin tong area nito. So, that will be minus 1 half times 21.5386 times 0 0.64. So, pag kinalculate natin to, this is a value na almost 0. So, we take this as 0. Kasi, pag kinuha natin yan from our calculator, it will give us a value 1.48 times 10 raised to negative 4. And, approximately, that is 0 0.0000148 kilonewton meter. And, approximately, that is 0. Ngayon, alin dun sa mga moments na nakuha natin yung gagamitin natin for design. So, syempre, since symmetrical yan, symmetrical lang din yung moment diagram. And we have two maximum moments dyan. Meron tayong 6 and meron tayong 24.231. So, ngayon, ang gagamitin natin dyan na moment for the sheet pile design or the moment for pile design so therefore M pile or the moment for pile design will be the larger of the two so 
neglecting the sign. So, it will be 24.231 kilonewton meter per meter. So, dito sa drawing natin, meron lang siyang typo error. So, this is in kilonewton meter per meter and this is in kilonewton meter per meter. So, ganun din yung sa kabila. So, yan ngayon yung para sa pile design. Now, we proceed dun sa whale. So, for the whale, so, yung whale natin, yan yung sa top view, yan yung pahaba. Which is ito. Yung sumusuporta per strut. So, ibig sabihin, meron dyang whale na sumusuporta per strut. And as you can see, ang tatanggapin na load nun is kung i-isometric view natin. So, as you can see, ang tatanggapin kasi nun na load. So, ganyan siya. Kung ito yung wheel. Tapos may mga struts ka dito. Siyempre, kung kanina nakuha natin na reaction at A per meter strip is nakakilonewton per meter. So, ibig sabihin may tatanggapin yan na load na pa ganyan. So, yung kanina na this is yung reaction A, B, and C na nakakilonewton per meter pa which is ito eto at eto. So, hanapin natin yung pinakamalaki lang sa kanila. Yun ngayon ang pang-design natin ng whale. So, 86.1548. So, ibig sabihin, ang load nito in 3D. So, ito kasi yan. That is a uniformly distributed load. So, that is 86.1548 kN per meter. And as you can see, para siyang simply supported na beam. So, kapag yung moment na nandun, yung hinahanap natin, so, moment for a wheel will just be parang maximum moment ng simply supported beam. But that is just R S squared divided by 8. Kasi this span is the spacing S. So, ngayon, to solve the moment for the wheel, so that will be 86.1548 times 4 squared divided by 8 and simplifying that will be the moment of the whale is equal to 172.3096 kilonewton meter value kasi as you can see yung R natin is in kilonewton per meter and our spacing is in meter squared kasi that that is squared so meter magka cancel so kilonewton meter yung lalabas na value natin so this one now will be our moment for the wheel design so ito naman yung moment natin for the pile design which is in kilonewton meter per meter slip. So, kung gusto nyo siyang gawin na kilonewton meter na automatic, so, syempre, imumultiply natin siya by its spacing. Para magamit siya for the pile design. Pero kasi, si pile naman, or si sheet pile naman is, ah, uh, pwede natin siyang i-design by means of the kilonewton meter per meter or per meter strip nung width nya so that will be all for our sample problem on the lateral earth pressure for braced cuts again this is engineer Rodolfo thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV